Well, guys, the time has come. Let's rank Homestuck characters. So this was the one, the tier list that was made for me by Nubius Noob. Today, we're going to rank, hopefully, all of the trolls, maybe all of the trolls. It looks like, it, it, it's a kind of, it's kind of like got a lot of things mixed up in here. So probably it's fine. Um, so I'm going to make a very controversial decision out the gate here. All of the Felter F tier. <laughs> all of the Felter F tier. <laughs> Every last one of them are F tier. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. There we go. Guys, you're not looking at the big picture. The reason that they're F tier is because F stands for felt. Guys. Guys, I don't know why you're freaking out about this. Why are you... F tier is for felt tier. Under... Exactly. Everybody's freaking out. Let's start over here. I'm assuming this is Andrew Hussey. Is this Andrew Hussey? This is Hussey's shirt, right? Um, Andrew Hussey is going to be E tier. No, Andrew Hussey's D tier. Andrew Hussey has development in, in that he ends up, uh, he ends up getting rejected. It's easy. It's easy. Hussey is D tier. We don't need him in this comic. It's fine. Just get rid of it. Alt Cali. This is jumping around between characters. Alt Cali is a, so here's the thing about Alt Cali. Alt Cali is cool. Alt Cali is super cool. Because Alt Cali is just a badass. We get a cool backstory from her, but she doesn't have any development really. She's a very, um, she's a very static character as opposed to a dynamic character. She is a uh, catalyst character rather than anything. And for that reason, she's a C. She's a C. She is a catalyst character. She is a deus ex, she's a deus ex cherub, honestly, guys. AR is an interesting character. I think AR, AR is interesting in that it's an augment for Dirk. I don't think AR's character is inherently near as interesting. And as such, I'm actually going to put AR in C tier. I don't think AR is in and of himself in a vacuum an interesting character. I just don't. Robo Aradia? <laughs> this is a really difficult way. Why are Robo Aradia and Aradia different? Actually, no, we, we know this. We know this. This is because of Act 5. Act 5. This makes sense. Robo Aradia, I think, is a B tier character. We get Existential Dread. Aradia is a really cool character. Aradia is a really cool character. I, you know, I will make you guys a promise right now about Vriska, since I know that this is where it's coming. I will make you a promise right this section. Or section right the second. Vriska will not be S tier. Think about that however you may. Vriska will not be S tier, I promise. Huh, Aradia is really interesting. Aradia has a very full arc from her emotionless state to kind of her her being back alive. She has some really memorable moments in the comic. I think Aradia is pretty probably a high or either a high b tier or a low a tier for me i think she's i think she carries a lot of act five like with misty like intrigue and mystery and also just like has having one of the most hype moments where she says she doesn't plan on dying again i think she's a low a or a high b a for aradia you know what i can't argue with that logic I can't argue with that logic. Also, definition of impact re-recursive. Uh, that's where I'm going to plead the fifth and just say whatever I feel like then. AR. AR is... So so a lot of these characters are going to suffer from just disappearing after Act 5, for the most part. AR or AR? Well, clearly, we have to put AR below AR. We can't, we can't separate the ARs. Easy enough. Arqueous, though. Arqueous Sprite. This is a hard one for me. I'm probably gonna say definitely more than Robo Aradia. 
Probably above a Robo... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Probably above Aradia? He's very interesting. He's, like, got this, like, whole fulfillment aspect for Equius and AR. Ooh, I don't know. This is... Would I touch his muscles? It's like... Actually, I, I can't look my neighbor in the eye now because of Arqueous Sprite, so he's going below Aradia. That's, that's all that needs to be known. Jack Noir, or Beck Noir in this case. So here's the thing about Beck Noir. Why the fuck does Jack want to kill people so much? We never got, like, we never got, like, good motivations for him. He's just bored. Exactly. He doesn't, he's just, he's just bored. He's a game construct. And as such, as such, he's an A tier. Because not every, not every, not every villain needs, not every villain needs a motivation. <laughs> Beck Noir is an A-tier for striking the fear into the hearts of the players and the reader of the comic and having some of the most memorable moments of the, of the pre-Act uh, pre 6 arc. Genuinely terrifying. Uh, Beck Noir, eh, low B-tier because Doggo Jumpin' Sprite. I always forget the, I always forget the, uh, the Midnight Cruise names. I always get them mixed up. This is Diamond's Droog, right? I always get them mixed up, DD. It's so much easier in the comic. It's so much easier in the comic when it's co no Hearts Boxcar. Hearts, but thank you. I always get them mixed up. Hearts Boxcar. I'm gonna put in B. I'm probably gonna actually. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the Midnight Crew pretty much all in B tier, like low B tier because I enjoy them, except for except for. Uh, Club's Deuce, who is clearly an A tier. What? Like, clearly an A tier. Like, I don't feel like I need to defend this decision. Clearly an A tier. Um, I guess I should put Snowman. Snowman is probably super high B tier. Maybe low A. Maybe a high B. Low A. High B. Oh, this is a hard one. By the way, I'm gonna move back below Aradia. These are going to be loosely ordered within the ranks. Snowman is the felt, I promised. Fine. 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 I'll put Snowman at top of the felt. Fine. The felt has never made my pee pee hard though, just wanna say. And yet Snowman. I mean, should I put a horny tier? Like, I don't understand, like, I don't know. So let's look at Calliope and Caliborn. Calliope. Or Calliope, however you want to do it, Callie, is I think a very good character. I think she's very interesting. I think her insecurities and her entire arc is really fun and interesting. She spends a lot of time thinking she's going to be important and then realizing that being important is the most isn't the most important thing. Um which makes me very happy. I think that that is a message that a lot of the Homestuck kids could suffer to learn that being being relevant and important isn't the most thing, important thing in life. Calliope is high A tier or low S. Lil Cal, S tier. Lil Cal is the shit. Cow Sprite, hilariously, is E tier. I don't want to listen to this thing. I don't want to listen to this thing. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Caliborn is an undeniable S tier. Never have I been so proud of somebody that I hate so much. Cal is put in there as a determined shitty human being, or cherub being, excuse me. But I am still so proud of him when he finishes his quest, despite being an absolute A-plus dumbass. And I hate the guy. I hate the guy. I hate him, but I respect. Exactly. Would, would, the determination to win an unwinnable session? Props to him. Thaliborn pitch ship confirmed. I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. Ch chat is cursed. The Condes is a high B tier. No low B tier. No mid B tier. The Condes... Oh god, the thighs though. This is... See, the Condes would go in the horny tier. The Condes would go in the horny tier. Because her thighs bias me. Yeah, Condi is horny tier. But the thing is, is that we get a little bit... 
of character, like character interaction with the contest because we get her replacing um, Damara as Doc Scratch's servant or Lord English's servant, and I, I think there's a little bit there, but there's just not enough there to make her a really good character. She she is like most villains in Homestuck, antagonists in Homestuck, more of a force of nature or just a like kind of this abstract character than any anybody concrete. Who the fuck is this? I don't know who this is. Oh, the official fan troll, right. A tier. A tier, because that design is fire. Right, that design is fire. A tier, A tier. Not even memeing, I fucking love the jacket. A tier. Cronus is E tier, below Calspar. I hate Cronus. God, I hate Cronus. I can't express how much I hate Cronus. Spade Slick, Spade Slick is a high B tier. High B tier, ooh, actually that's not, no, I can't, no. Low A, because I can't put Spade Slick below clubs. Below club. you know what I mean? Has to be above clubs. I like it. So by the process of elimination, he has to be A tier. If clubs is A tier, Spade Slick has to be A tier. I think that's solid logic. Dad? Dad is high A tier. Dad is high, Dad Burt or Dad Crocker is high A tier. Uh, for top emotional moments throughout the series, very good. Uh, mostly has things happening to him. He doesn't really have much agency, but he's very impactful during the series. I would probably put him not above Cali. I, I actually should put Cali above the fan troll. Not above Aradia. Not there. Probably there. Nah, probably there. Not high A tier. Low A tier. Below Arqueus. Damara? This one's gonna be biased. Fuck Damara. And the reason why I say fuck Damara, she's better than Hussy, because honestly most people are. Um, Damara. I got baited. You guys acted like Damara was a troll that would be interesting and, like, very fun later. Damara is just abused for her entire life, which sucks. Like, you guys, I, I got the feeling that Damara would have a proper character arc because everyone was like, Damara's my favorite troll. I got baited. Hard. Damara, Dem no. No, Damara's a D tier. Bro is better than Damara, but still D tier. Yeah, most of the Dancesters are probably going to end up here, quite frankly. No, actually, you know what? We've been underutilizing C tier, actually. We've been under underutilizing C tier, I think. I think Bruce Ryder was interesting, very quickly removed from the comic. Um, and then Dirk is just a way more interesting version of Bro for the rest of the comic. Don't I dare do Mina like that? Yo, Mina can just go with the, in, with the felt. It's fine. Dave Petta. I don't even think I need to justify this. Dave Petta is S tier. Absolutely. Dave Petta is S tier. Just below Caliborn. Dave Petta is the self-actualization of like several different characters in a perfect, in a perfect body formed of Sprite magical goodness. Dave Sprite, Bird Dave, is a solid A tier. I can't meme about this fan troll too much. There are too many good characters at A tier. It's so hard to meme about the fan troll. Bird Dave is an asshole, but his identity issues are A+. Now we get into... So here's what happens. Right? I have to be a bit more judicious now, guys. Because we're getting into the main cast, and the main cast all have great character development. Dave, clear S tier. Clear S tier. One of the best characters in the comic. Undeniably. I don't think you can escape that. Clear S tier. Above Little Cal, above Dave Petta. Above Caliborn? Above Caliborn? Above Caliborn. Is this supposed to be Alpha Dave? Alpha Dave is gonna be a D tier. They, they mostly there for historical context for Dirk. Dirk, I'm gonna be real, guys. Dirk is high B tier. 
Dirk didn't resonate with me near as much as a lot of the rest of the main cast did. Oh, well, maybe Dirk's an A tier. This is hard. I might have to redistribute this list. I, oh, I think Dirk's going to be high B tier. Dirk had a lot of interesting stuff, but I feel like he's greatly overshadowed by how interesting Dave is as a character. And kind of his entire splintering thing is a little overplayed. Because he acts like it's a very, like a really specific gimmick to him when it happens to literally everyone, even though he acknowledges that later in the comic. Equius? We know where Equius goes. Equius is uh, 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 C tier. I don't like Equius that much. I think this is well known. Eridan? Would be a C tier, just above Equius. But because I gave him a Scottish accent, he's, he's low B tier. Fight me. Ranking him for the accent. Easy. Easy. Aerosol Sprite? Better than Equius. Better than AR. Better than Bro. Not as good as AR. I think that's a fair rating. Fef? I love Fef. I'd put Fef just under Condi. Which is where she exists socially. Neperi goes above Aerosol, but not above AR. Gamzy? Gamzy's gonna be a C tier? Gamzy's really hard to rank. I don't know that Gamzy is a good villain. Gamzee is a villain that is terrifying. Gamzee is odd. Motivations unclear. Point of entry into his brain unclear. What is influencing him at a different time unclear. Um, you can piece together things, but it's mostly just speculation. Even how he got to Caliborn's like Universe C is speculation. That's the thing. Gamzee is a plot device. Oh god, you know what? We can move half of the cast into one tier if I just make a plot device tier. If I were to just make a plot device tier, half the cast would go there. By design. Because some of these characters are designed specifically to be plot devices. Tavros Sprite is below Gamzee. Uh, well, Tavros Sprite has some development. We'll put Tavros Sprite here. Some of, the, some of the rest of the sprites. The Genesis Frog? For the cool fucking design is a solid A tier. Solid. Just above the fan troll. Because the Genesis Frog technically has more design, like, better design than the fan troll. Let's go. Let's see. Wait, do we have dead Aradia as opposed to with a normal Aradia? Uh, I'll just put them next to each other. They're both, to me, I ranked Aradia with the implication of her, like, entire character arc, so I'm gonna put them together. Probably upper D. G-Cat is just a, a first guardian. That just, like, chills out. Like, eh? What, is, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is it? What, wait, wait. What is this thing? It's a dead something. Wait, which character is this? Oh. Grandma Jade? Alpha Jade? Yeah, above Cal Sprite. Just because I'd be okay seeing a dead Alpha Jade again. I'm not okay seeing Cal Sprite again. So I'm a little biased here. This is, uh... Is this supposed to be Pop-Up, or is this supposed to be Beta Jake? Is this, is this Beta Jake or Alpha June? Right here. And that's Grandpa? Okay, I'm a little biased here. Beta Jake? Beta Jake was a terrible father. Beta Jake was a terrible father. And also didn't really do much. So I'm going to put it high D. D is for bad dad. Dancestors, you know where Dancestors go. So Jade is an interesting case. Jade spends a lot of time being really interesting and relevant for a decent chunk of the comic. And then kind of just being there. I feel like they did Jade dirty. Honestly. She has a really cool moment in Cascade where she god tears. And it's just amazingly, like, awesome. And then Act 6, Jade is just kind of not great. 
There's such a hard cutoff between Act 5 and Act 6 for how characters are created. Grim Bark is cool. I will put Jade above Jack Noir and Arata. I'll put Jade above Dave Sprite. No, mm, I actually am going to put... I like Aradia's character development and everything better than Jade's. Jade gets this, like, really big peak. Ooh, but but now that I think about it, though, Aradia kind of falls off around the same time. And I like Jade a little bit better there. Let's do that. Jade was done super dirty. Okay, actually, let me... Okay, let me, let me rephrase this. Jade is actually going up, down a little bit. Right here. Because whereas Aradia rose in relevance and then fell off, that was a natural thing. Jade rose in relevance and then was super powerful and poised to be important and then got intentionally sidelined by the narrative, which destroyed a lot of, like, what felt like her character. Jade Sprite is a, is a, uh, a pretty solid B, I think. I, I like Jade Sprite's, like, depression everything and it gave us a really interesting look into the afterlife of homestuck before we knew about it I, I like jade sprite quite a bit actually time for the janglish jake english i don't know the alpha characters apart from roxy i feel like are just weaker than the beta characters in a lot of ways but i think jake is probably a little bit better than dave sprite so i'm gonna put him there i don't think he's i don't maybe a bit more than callie I don't know. He's a little bit... He, he goes through... Actually, no, he has a pretty interesting development. I'm going to put him above Cali. I'm going to put Jake as, like, the top of the A tier because I feel like Jake has an interesting character arc um, compared to Cali's. And Cali was interesting, but I think I like Jake's a little bit more, if only because Jake got some more screen time to explore it. Jane... Okay, I'm gonna be real. Jane was not the most engaging character in the comic. Jane was... Not the most engaging character in the comic at all? Uh... Yeah. I, I feel like I was more engaged by Aradia Bot. I'm gonna be real. I think, like, a low B tier? Her failed relationship with Jake, though? Yeah... She's really bland. Eridan had personality. But then if I go to C tier, I'm like, Gamsey? Wait, no, Gamsey had person. I think, I think Jane's down here, actually. I just don't like Jane very much. Like, it's not even that I don't like her. It's, it's, it's the same way that I, like, eat a cracker. It's not that I don't like a cracker. It's just I don't remember it. Jasper Sprite? Jasper Sprite is a solid C. Um, just because Jasper Sprite doesn't actually do much, but is adorable. So it does he's not gonna fall into the uh the D tier of like useless characters that exist. Solid C. Jane Crackerhead can confirmed. <laughs> Jasper Sprite? Just for the hilarity is a is a mid B. Just for hilarity, um, really fun and engaging, and just like kind of like moves around a lot, but like doesn't do much for the story. Kind of a mid B, just for fun. Was, was suffered from being thrown in there at the end, you know. Uh, June, really fantastic character, comparable with Dave. Comparable with Dave, legitimately. Also, really weird seeing their faces side by side. Um. Seeing the kind of, like, free, like, haha, I don't know what I'm doing, um, attitude move to, like, determined leadership and victory, um, and doing what needs to be done was really powerful, and it felt very natural. I feel like these two are fairly interchangeable. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna do, I, let me order it like this. Because being the being the main character is fairly helpful. Let me order it like this. Because when you're in when you're in S tier, right? There are certain relations. I feel like June is more comparable to Caliborn, even though I don't think that they're too much like lower or higher than Dave. If that makes sense. Kanaya is pretty fun. I love Kanaya. Uh, Kanaya is more interesting than Jade. 
More interesting than Aradia. More interesting than Dave Sprite, which puts her there. Which puts her there. I'm going to move Dave Sprite down to a high B, actually. Or to uh, here, actually. I'm going to move the Fan Troll to B. I joked about it earlier, but no, I'm going to... I'm going to move the fan troll to where the fan troll should be, which is above Gamzee. Because the design is so good. Cancri is a solid E. I hate Cancri as much as I do Cronus. Carcat is S tier. And I'm so biased here. You have no idea how biased I am here. I love, I love Carcat. Curlaws is going to go high Dancester. Because Curlaws was actually interesting. Um, Latula also goes high Dancester, just because I fucking love this gamer girl. Aranea. Aranea. Aranea is going to be a mid B. Relevance to the plot, check. And then uncheck. Um, we got a lot of time with her. She, we got, she got a very, like, solid development. We understood why she did what she did. Um, we got a good feel for her personality. Easy. Lord English is right next to, uh, alternate Cali. Why? Because they're the same fucking thing. Lord English is slightly above, but they're both basically, de like, they're both, like, plot development devices. They're machines that the plot goes through to get from one place to another. Lord English belongs above Gamzee. I don't know that he does, honestly. Honestly, I think Gamzee is more intriguing than Lord English. You think Gamzee should be S tier? I just, there's so much about Gamzee that like, I don't like from a storytelling perspective. <laughs> which is, which leads, to, which is totally a preference thing. Which is totally a preference thing. But it's my tier list, so you have to deal with that. <laughs> Mina, uh, felt tier. Um, Mulan. Mulan I kind of like. I'm going to put Mulan next to Curlaws. Um. Mituna. <laughs> Mituna's going to be over here. Um, I'm going to put Mituna right over here, actually. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll rank Mina. I'll rank Mina. I'll rank Mina for real. <laughs> Mina's right next to Carcat. I'm gonna move Dave Petta down to A. I'm gonna move Dave. Like Dave Petta's good, but Dave Petta just wasn't around long enough. And I'm gonna move Dave Petta under Jake and Callie, actually. And Kanaya. Damn it. Dave Petta was grossly mistiered. Dave Petta was grossly mistiered. I was. I was too hyped. I was too hyped. Mom Lalonde, this would go in horny tier. Better than, better mom than grandpa? Let's see, Miss Paint. Miss Paint falls into this like tier where characters didn't really exist. Right below Little Seb. Though I love Miss Paint, and I guess technically she's now in the horny tier. Uh, the MSPA reader, garbage. I hate, I mm, hate this person. I actually really like Nana Sprite. She's going at top of sprites. Nepeta! Nepetigo definitely goes above uh, Fef and Aridan. Because I, I just like her better. Um, probably above Beck, below Jaspros. No, ye, no, no, that's not true. That's not true. Um, above Jade Sprite? Jade Sprite's way too high. Above Condes. Jade Sprite, you're moving down here. There we go. Nicholas Cage is secretly a felt. The comic didn't tell you that. It's in the it's in the some obscure part of the lore. It's in the epilogues, actually, that Nicolas Cage is secretly a member of the Felt. Um, just so you know, the nick of time. <laughs> the deepest lore. I'm sorry I had to tell you guys. PM. Um PM is So what we do with PM, it's really easy. We go to Beck Noir, and then we put her right above. Right below Jade. I love PM. Nick Cage is an honorary felt member. Because even though Jade got done dirty, I don't feel like PM was a more impactful character to me than Jade herself. This is where things start getting a little, like, a little hairy, tier-wise. Hop-Op goes up top tier. Top D tier. For being a, a good Pop-Op. 
Better than better than Chad pop up versus Virgin uh, Grandpa Jake. Clearly, Porum. God, I want to put Porum. So here's the thing: Porum is really good. I love Porum more than G Cat. I, fuck you guys. P fuck you guys. D tier. We're in horny tier for Porum. Let's go. Let's go. In fact, Porum above Miss Payne, above Little Seb, above P top of D tier. Top of D tier. Let's go. Rose is going to be here. No, wait, Rose is going to be, no, Rose is going to be here. Rose, ooh, Rose is going to be here. No, Rose is going to be here. No, Rose is going to be here. Rose is so hard. I like her. I think Rose is a better character than Mina, but Rose herself says she didn't have a character arc. It's so hard. It's so hard, guys. Porum is the only irrelevant dance sister that you genuinely like. I feel like that's her entire purpose, to be the one character out of that group that you like in Open Bound. Rose, you know what? Rose at least has consistency. She has... She has, she has a character arc in, she has character development in Acts 1 through 5. She has a character arc in Act 6 with her alcoholism. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Rose don't need no stinking character arc. I feel confident there. Um, this goes, Alpha Rose goes with Alpha, with Alpha, uh, Dave. Everyone, you knew, you knew she was coming. You know, you know where she goes. This woman needs no introduction. It's Rorb Laborb, Roxy. Above Lil Cow. I'm putting Lil Cow back where he belongs. Fuck all you guys, I love Roxy. Uh, Rufio goes with the rest of the Dance Sisters. Is this the Colonel? I don't know. Go with the rest of the character. Well, yes, the Colonel. You, you weren't very relevant at all. Um, I can't see this because it's white on white, so I don't know what character this is. So we'll go over to Serenity. Serenity's an S tier, and if you're if you're you you disagree, fuck you. Solix. Oh, I really liked Solix. I really liked Solix a lot. Um, Solix can go up here with the other, like, semi-irrelevant trolls in Act 6. I liked Solix, though. Not more than Dad, not more than Dave Sprite, maybe more than Spade Slick. Honestly, if this was a true S-tier, uh, tier list, what we would have is Solix with one red eye and Solix with one blue eye, and that's it. Tavra Sprite is not, nope, nope, not great, not great. At the bottom of the, of the Fusion Sprites, because it was an abomination that never should have happened. As we approach a list of controversial characters. Not even controversial, just good characters. Let us approach. Rapid Fire, let's go. Tavros. You're going on up here. You're above them. You're above them. You're right over here by Gamzee. We're going over here. I loved your character development right up until the end. You're going up straight to B tier. Right above Nepeta. Let's go. Next one. Terezi, my girl, all the way up until Remember, even though Remember ended up having no actual relevance in the story. So we can just assume that it was a moment of development for Terezi herself. You go right up here with the main cast. My girl, let's go. The mayor, do you even need to ask clearly better than Jake English? The Salamancer himself, Casey, right over here, more important than Jade. Less important than Jade. Less important than PM, right there. Let's, okay, maybe, maybe more important than the new universe. Maybe more important than the new universe. Let's go there. Less important than Arrow. Okay, Casey's diminishing in importance. Right there. <laughs> Come, let's go over here to the White Queen. The White Queen fell out of relevance near the end of Act 5, mainly due to getting shanked. But I liked her. She's going right there with AR. And then finally, the time has come. The last three characters. Uncle Scratch, Vriska, and myself. Here we go. Let's start with Uncle Scratch. Uncle Scratch. 
was an antagonist to be reckoned with. As far as hosts go, you know it. He was polite. He was smart. He was powerful. And he orchestrated a chain of events that was remembered to this day. And as far as hosts go, you all know it. He is simply the best that there is. As far as antagonists go, I actually think that Doc Scratch is probably the most compelling antagonist in all of Homestuck. F tier because of Felt? You're not wrong, but I hate it. The time has come for Vriska. And I promised you all at the beginning of this ranking that Vriska would not be an S tier. And I stand by that. Oh, wait. I fucked it up. I fucked up the joke. Shut up. Stop looking. Stop looking. Shut up. Go away, chat. Go away. You, you, Interficient. Interficient. Go, you, go, go, go. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to this. See, guys, there's a tier list. There's a tier here that I don't know why nobody's talked about it because it's been here the whole time. It's been here the whole time, guys. Clearly, Briska goes in the did nothing wrong tier. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, like, it, was there ever a question? Why, why are you guys acting surprised? Was there ever a question? Clearly. <laughs> but now we move on. To me. Where do I go in this tier list? That ain't goes in F tier list. <laughs> Everyone. There's only one place I can go. Now that we finish Homestuck. There's literally only one place I can go. There we are. I'm in the not a Homestuck streamer tier list. We're done. I read the comic, it's over. What am I now? I'm not a Homestuck streamer.